formation process. Water or that is the liquid is converted into the gaseous state or a vapor state that phase during phase transformation temperature of substance remains constant. So, at state D the 100 percentage water is converted into the steam and that steam is known as the dry steam or the dry and saturated steam. When we heat it, when we heat the dry steam again, the temperature of steam re, uh, increases and it increases beyond the saturation temperature. It means at point E, the temperature of steam is more than the saturation temperature and that steam is known as the superheated steam. So, this shows the complete formation of steam from water at 0 degree centigrade to the superheated steam and we have to study all these stages of the steam one by one and uh, specific volume, specific enthalpy associated with it and solve the numericals based on it. So, now we will study the each state in deep one by one. So, consider the first step is state A having the water at 0 degree centigrade at initial volume is V w and fixed pressure or the constant pressure acting on the piston is one atmospheric pressure. So, due to that the boiling point temperature or the saturation temperature of water is uh, 100 degree centigrade. We can plot it on the temperature enthalpy diagram. So, on the y axis temperature and x axis we take the enthalpy that is the heat supply to the water. So, uh, point A can be shown at the you can say the uh, origin. So, point A is the origin point where the water is at 0 degree centigrade. Now, we will go for the next stage. When we heat the water at the state A, its temperature increases and it reaches to the boiling point temperature and that steam is known as the or that particular type is known as the saturated liquid. Now, we will study in deep. So, when it supply when we supply the heat to the state A, the temperature of water gradually increases from 0 degree centigrade to its boiling point and we can show it on the temperature enthalpy diagram by a line A to B, where the temperature at the B is the boiling point or the you can say saturation temperature of water and the line A B shows the heating of water. And as the water heat is supplied the enthalpy of water increases from H A to the H B. So, increase in volume of water also takes place that is V w to V w plus delta. So, it is a very negligible increasing of water uh, volume of water takes place. Saturation temperature now the we will study the different terms related with the state B. The saturation temperature is the temperature or the boiling point temperature of water it is denoted by the T set for the degree centigrade and capital T set for the Kelvin and as we have studied as the pressure increases temper uh, saturation temperature also increases. The condition of water at state B is known as the saturated water because that water is at the saturation temperature. If the water is having the temperature below the saturation temperature or below the uh, boiling point temperature, then it is known as the unsaturated water or unsaturated liquid. So, considering the example, if the uh, pressure of water is 1 atmospheric pressure and temperature of that water is 50 degree centigrade, then that water is known as the unsaturated water or unsaturated liquid. At that point B, the temperature of water is saturated, uh, saturated temperature. So, it is known as the saturated water. enthalpy of saturated water. Heat supplied to transfer the water at 0 degree centigrade to boiling point is known as the enthalpy of saturated water. It is also known as the sensible heat of water, because when we supply the heat to the water at 0 degree centigrade, we can sense the temperature of water increase or we can measure that temperature of water increases from 0 to 10 degree, 20 degree, 30 degree and up to the boiling point temperature of water. So, it is also known as the sensible heat of water 
it is denoted by the symbol small h f or capital H f. And on the uh, T h te temperature enthalpy diagram, it is denoted by the distance between the point A and point B. Now, enthalpy of saturated water can be calculated using the equation capital H f is equals to mass of water multiply by C p of water multiply by T b that is the temperature at point b minus T a that is temperature at point a and the answer will be in kilo joule. Now, what is the temperature at point b? The temperature of at point b is the saturation temperature and what is the temperature at point a? It is 0. So, the equation can be modified as H f is equals to mass of water multiply by C p of water multiply by T set minus 0. Now, as uh, we have taken the mass of water 1 kilogram, so we can take it a mass uh, m w is 1 kilogram. So, we will get the specific enthalpy of saturated water and it is denoted by the small h f. So, small h f is equals to C p of water multiply by T b minus T a and the unit will be kilo joule per kg. So, when we are uh, solving the problems and when we are getting this uh, uh, formation of steam, we are using the specific enthalpy and specific volume of steam. It means uh, all the characteristics, all the properties are in per kilogram of steam or per kilogram of water evaporated. So, this is H f is equals to C p multiplied by uh, T b minus T a kilo joule per kg. Now, volume of saturated water. Now, we know that the volume of water has increased from V w to V w to V w plus delta and that volume is known as the V f that is the volume of saturated water. Here also it is denoted by capital V f for total volume and the unit is meter cube. If we take the volume of water per kilogram of water, uh, water then it is denoted by the small V f and it is denoted by the unit or it is given by the symbol meter cube per kg. So, it is small v f meter cube per kg. Now, again if we start heating the water at the 100 degree centigrade or that is the saturated liquid, then we will get it the wet steam. We will get the mixture of water and steam at a state C and the temperature of water will remain same that is the saturation temperature. So, at state C now, the actual formation of steam has started, there is no change in temperature of uh, temperature of mixture of water and steam and the line. So, there is a horizontal line of the temperature enthalpy diagram from B to C, which shows the formation of steam and due to that piston moves upward, volume of water increases and enthalpy of water also increases. wet steam. The mixture of water and steam at state C is known as the wet steam. Dryness fraction of wet steam. Now, we know that when we supply the heat to the water, water starts converting into the steam. So, if we supply the less amount of steam, then we will get the 10 percentage of steam and uh, 90 percentage of water it means there will be a mixture of 10 percentage of steam and 90 percentage of water. If we supply the more heat, we will get that 20 percentage of steam and 80 percentage of liquid and if we supply the more and more heat, we will get the 80 percentage of steam and 20 percentage of uh, uh, liquid. So, the dryness fraction of wet steam denotes the percentage of dry steam present in the mixture of wet steam. So, dryness fraction is denoted by x that is equals to mass of dry steam in a sample of a wet steam divided by total mass of wet steam. x is equals to mass of dry steam divided by mass of wet steam. Now, we know that wet steam consists of mixture of water and dry steam both. So, we can write down x is equals to 
mass of dry steam divided by mass of dry steam plus mass of water. Specific enthalpy of wet steam in the symbol uh, in the unit is kilojoule per kg. Now, we know that to heat the water from point A to point B the enthalpy required is H f and point A to point C is the enthalpy of wet steam. It means enthalpy of wet steam is equals to H f plus heat supplied from B to C and heat supplied from B to C is known as uh, is uh, take, uh, taken as x multiplied by H f g where x is equals to dryness fraction of steam and H f g is the enthalpy of evaporation or it is also known as the latent heat. So, uh, we will study for the H f g in the next uh, slide specific volume of wet steam that is V wet and it is the volume of mixture of water as well as the steam and it is denoted by V wet and unit is the meter cube per kg and it is calculated using the equation x multiplied by V g plus 1 minus x multiplied by V f where x is the dryness fraction V g is the specific volume of 100 percent steam and V f is the specific volume of the 100 percent water that is the saturated water that already we have studied earlier. Uh, from the numerical value 1 minus x into V f is a very very small. So, it can be neglected for the calculation. So, V wet is equals to x multiplied by V g. So, we have reached to the state C where we have obtained the mixture of water and steam and it is known as the wet steam. Now, when we supply the heat it again 100 percent of water is converted into the steam and it is known as the dry steam and we are reaching to the state number D. So, at state D water is completely converted into the steam and the point number D is reached beyond the point C on the temperature enthalpy diagram. Yet you can see that the temperature at point B, C and D is same that is the saturation temperature or the boiling point temperature of water and B to D line is known as the evaporation. It means water is converting into the steam. So, it is known as the evaporation and this much is the enthalpy required for the evaporation. So, enthalpy of steam increases from H B to the H D. Piston moves upward, volume of water also increases to V g and temperature of steam remains constant. Dry and saturated steam, the steam available at point D is known as the dry steam or also it is known as the dry and saturated steam because 100 percent water is converted into the 100 percent steam and the temperature is saturation temperature. So, it is known as the dry and saturated steam. Specific enthalpy of dry and saturated steam. Now, H f is the heat required to heat, uh, heat the water from A point to B point and heat required to heat the water from point B to point D is known as the H f g that H f g is known as the enthalpy of evaporation or also it is known as the latent heat and total en enthalpy required to generate the steam from 0 degree centigrade water to point D or that is point A to point D is summation of both. So, that is H f plus H f g is H g. So, H dry enthalpy of dry and saturated steam is equals to H f plus heat supplied from B to D which is known as the H f g. So, H dry is equals to H f plus H f g that is equals to H g. Specific volume of dry and saturated steam which is V g in the unit meter cube per kg. So, we have reached to the point D where we have obtained the dry and saturated steam at 100 degree centigrade. 
if we supply the heat it again now the temperature of steam will increase and it will increase beyond the saturation temperature. So, the steam at point E will have the temperature more than the saturation temperature of water and that steam is known as the superheated steam. So, at state E, so when steam is heated further beyond state D its temperature starts increasing and reaches to the state E and the temperature at E is the T soup and the line D E represents the superheating temperature at, okay. and the volume of a uh, point at E is known as the V soup. The st steam available at E point is known as the superheated steam specific enthalpy of superheated steam. So, the heat required to generate the superheated steam at point E from water at 0 degree centigrade that is point A is known as the specific enthalpy of superheated steam and it is denoted by the symbol H soup. Now, from the diagram A to B heat required is H F, B to D heat required is H F G and D to E heat required is heat supplied from D to point E. So, H soup is equals to H F plus H F G plus heat supplied from point D to point E and it can be written as H F plus H F G plus C P of steam multiplied by temperature at point E minus temperature at point D. Now, what is the temperature at point E? Temperature of point E it is the T soup and temperature at point D is the T set. So, H soup is equals to H F plus H F G plus C P of steam multiplied by T soup minus T set. Specific volume of superheated steam which is denoted by the symbol V soup. Now, we can have the equation for the constant pressure process between point D to point E that is V by T at point E is equals to V by T at point D. Now, volume at point E is 